So let's now take a look at the software on the Samsung Droid Charge for Verizon. As you can see, you have this lock screen with the puzzle piece, which is should be familiar to other uh, Samsung users, particularly on the Fascinate. If you have a missed call, there will actually be another piece on top that you can drag to show you that you have a missed call. Go there. It's an Android 2.2 phone with the TouchWiz UI layer on top. What that means is you have seven home screens as well as various widgets. We'll get through those in a minute. Uh, standard stuff here, long press, you get the widgets, shortcuts, folders, wallpapers, and you can also do this quick pinching motion and you can see all of your home screens at once. You can move them, you can set different ones as your main home screen. Okay, so let's play with some of the widgets. I've already added the AccuWeather one up there. Let's add a stock. Uh, let's say Goog, just because we're on an Android phone. And if you notice when I was typing, it doesn't fill, it automatically populated with what it thinks I was trying to say. That can be a time saver, but it's kind of annoying for me because it defaults to, uh, it defaults to the one it thinks that it's doing, and I forgot, it's just Goog. So I was going for just Goog, and it automatically inserted Google. I did confirm it though, so that's my fault, but keyboard I'm not completely in love with. So let's see how that looks on the home screen. There we go. Uh, we can do the same with news. And there you go, you have your news going. Bin Laden. He's gone now. Uh, this is a social media, a social networking aggregator that you can add your Facebook and your Twitter streams to. Gives you one client to control them all with. So diving into the app menu, you notice it looks a little bit different than standard Android. And if you think it kind of looks like iOS, uh, you wouldn't be the only one. In fact, Apple's suing Samsung because for that very reason. But as you notice, you go left to right, blockier icons. I kind of like it. Uh, let's see, preloaded, you had Amazon Kindle on here. You have Bitbop, Blockbuster as well, as well as your standard clock gallery, desk cradle, things you would expect. This is All Share, which is uh, Samsung's implementation of DLNA to stream to TVs and other equipment. What else was on here? There was a guided tour to the mobile hotspot, which we'll demonstrate later. My Verizon Rhapsody was also preloaded on here for the subscription music. Uh, Slacker was as well. So this they were trying to make an effort to make this a multimedia friendly device. ToonWiki came loaded. Uh, Office was on there. YouTube, of course. And then these are apps that I've downloaded so far. And one of, one of the things I actually like is they've brought back the, the droid nose, noise as the default notification. You can quickly change that, but uh, I, I kind of like it, even though it's annoying. So, let's see. Let's go back to the phone. So 2.2.1, but hopefully we'll see Gingerbread on this soon. And that's a quick look at the software on the Samsung Droid Charge for Verizon. Thanks.